Voting is underway in the ACT election. Labor has been in power for 19 years, but the Canberra Liberals say ACT residents are ready for change. Reporter Isaac Naruzi joins us now from Canberra. Isaac, you've been following both leaders today. What's the latest? Yeah, that's right. I've been following both the Chief Minister, Andrew Barr, and the Opposition Leader, Alastair Coe, today. I'm actually here at the Gingalan Marketplace. It's right in the heart of Yerebi, which is Alastair Coe's electorate. Now, he came very briefly, spoke to a few of his mates and said hello to a few voters for about two minutes, but didn't actually have a stop and chat with the media today. Earlier today, I was also in North Ainsley, where I met up with Andrew Barr. He got the first democracy sausage, I guess, perks of being the chief minister. He held a press conference as well, 100 metres away from the venue, because under ACT election rules, you cannot have election-related paraphernalia and you can't campaign within 100 metres of a polling booth on polling day. But he did hold a press conference, and we asked him about what he thinks his chances are of forming a majority government today. Here's what he had to say. Uh, in our own right, very difficult, would require uh, and some pretty strong results uh, in a number of electorates. But as I say, this will come down to preferences uh, and the final seat in each electorate is up for grabs. Andrew Barr there. Now, Isaac, it's looking quite busy there behind you. How many people will be turning up to vote today? <coughs> Yeah, that's right. So the campaigning is still going hard and strong and it will until polling closes at six o'clock. But most people have actually voted. So about 200,000 registered voters voted early. That's 30% of the population left to vote today across 82 different vote, um, polling booths. So we've been to a couple and we've seen that they're actually quite quiet. It's uh, not many queues, but they're not getting complacent. They're saying that every vote counts and they're going to try and convince people right down to the very end. Isaac Naruzi reporting there from Canberra.